Today, I'm going to be doing everything I can to sink this aircraft carrier, including spawning tsunamis and more. And we have like this weird VTOL private jet that we're going to be using to escape if needed. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. I am so excited to sink this thing. So be sure you stay till the end and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's start this. Okay, so just a couple launch missile buttons casually up here. Why does an aircraft carrier have missiles? I don't know. Okay, we're just going to engage full throttle. Oh, oh, this thing's fast. Okay, okay, I see. This thing's really quick. There is a way we could make it faster if we wanted to. We do have uh, two extra jet engines engines on the back of this thing just in case the main ones do fail but i'm um, looking at the speed we're going i don't know that might be a possibility because they are like going crazy fast dude this thing is hauling the back is like in the water the front's all lifted up this is so over dramatic oh yeah there's a self-destruct button that we can click but uh let's go ahead and tour this thing before we destroy it we're gonna tour it real quick and then we'll spawn in like a tsunami or a storm or something it'd be cool so we're gonna turn on all these stations here i have no idea what these even do uh, we got the engineering one weapons navigation cool cool let's go down here check out this private jet and some of the interior rescue ladder oh that's cool rescue ladder oh okay we don't want to do that don't do that don't do that okay so we're already on the deck which is pretty cool which leads us to this plane here which um as you can see the wing is a little bit in the area of the control tower on takeoff so we'll probably just completely destroy that area on takeoff here but here's all of our backup fire extinguishers just in case we got our ropes right here welding equipment dude this thing's just packed with equipment and then we can't forget about all the bilge pumps in this thing this thing's filled with bilge pumps like we are not sinking anytime soon i can say that this is the medical room oh yeah i remember this this was like the cool looking hospital thing and then up here we got the crew quarters with like the super realistic bedrooms then we have the armory in here with these codes that you have to type in that i have no idea the passcode to but we could destroy the ship using these we got the equipment room and then what's up here i totally forgot empty space okay we're not going in there the bow section yeah this is just a really cool boat let's just open all the doors so this thing can sink easier and then towards the stern over here we got the engineering area so this is the big engine room which it looks like there's water on the ground but there isn't i swear okay so this is the brig right here it's so cool like look i'm gonna put myself in it but of course okay so we're gonna go ahead and do unlock that and then call the brig elevator so we have to hold that down and then if we let go of it it's like terrible like we're stuck in here forever now there's no escaping it's the funniest thing ever i think wait what is it why does the prisoner have access to the bilge pumps now okay that's interesting and all but do you guys think that this thing can survive a storm okay so we're gonna be spawning in a giant storm so we're gonna do rain to max and we'll do wind to like half we're gonna see how bad the wind is today oh okay okay i need to turn on some lights out here so we're turning on all these like oh this thing's this thing's going fast this thing's going fast okay we gotta be careful uh maybe we shouldn't be running on full speed and i think we're supposed to be going towards the wave so we're gonna be turning to the port side here of things oh this is scary an aircraft carrier in a storm but this thing's doing like really good i'm not gonna lie we're doing like super good you know we're getting a little bit of air time here and there but we're not gonna flip over i'm not concerned about that and just to prove i'm not worried about this thing flipping over we're gonna go out here on deck and see what's going on. Oh, this is so crazy. Rotted aircraft here. We're gonna jump on the big down spike. Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh, there's water actually going on the deck. Okay, that'd be kind of concerning here. Whoa, giant wave here. Please don't. Oh, no. This thing has a mind of its own. This is only on 56% waves. Oh, my gosh. Should we really crank it up already? I think I'm gonna be staying in here. Maybe we could check it out and see what it's like outside. But, you know, we're gonna stay in here for a bit. Let's see here. All right, so this is 56%. Let's go to the wind map here um we oh oh we're gonna go over here for it yeah we're gonna go in the red area we're going in the really bad weather area even though there's islands over here which normally yeah i don't know it's weird hopefully there isn't any water down there there might be water because um we're just having some rough seas out here okay so we do have a backup helicopter just in case it does have missiles on it so we can defend ourselves or shoot them at the aircraft carrier that'd be interesting but as you can see we are entering a pretty bad patch and you know what? we're gonna be turning to the starboard here a little bit we're on full throttle full throttle has been engaged we gotta go over there fast come on aircraft carrier we're responding to an active war we gotta hurry up um i feel like the waves calm down even though they're still at 56 percent i mean yeah i think it's because we got way too close to these islands the waves are so big like really far out so i think we're gonna be going over there to test this again so here you know what? just to get over there faster we're gonna turn off waves for now and rain we don't need rain that's just extra we gotta get over there and the waves are so big dude this thing is cruising okay so let's launch some missiles okay so launch one missile um oh oh that's scary oh gosh wait we were just pointing at ourselves there i just realized um fire machine guns okay so that works that's nice to know i want to know how to fire these missiles i think there's a passcode that i forgot how to use nah who needs to fire the stupid missiles those will probably just explode oh this thing has like a really bad stabilizer look me turning left to right like turns the entire aircraft carrier if that happened in real life there'd be planes falling off the side of it okay so this is supposedly where it was like really bad at um i don't believe it we're gonna go all the way out to sea we're gonna go in the red sea 
okay? I don't, yeah, we're gonna go over there. We just gotta get away from these stupid islands because, oh, what just happened? I think the engines just like had a issue there. They, did you guys see the entire boat like jolt for, oh, um, okay, something's seriously wrong. I think the engines are near exploding. We gotta probably calm down with that. I don't know. Okay, we gotta check the engineer station. We gotta get out to sea also. All right, what's going on down here? Everything looks good to me. Electrical generation, clutch pressure. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's see, temperature 99. Okay, yep, never mind. We are about to explode. Okay, we'll be nice. I'll be nice. We'll cut the throttle to zero. I'll cut it down. There you go. You can have some time to cool yourself. And tsunamis are like so much larger the farther we are out. Like this is gonna be crazy. Like most of the time we do our videos like in really close areas of islands like over here, but we're doing this one pretty far out today. So we're gonna see how large the tsunami is. Same with the waves. The waves are already like pretty big and it's at zero. Like it's literally at zero right now. And these are the waves. Like I'm not even joking. It's gonna be crazy. All right, y'all, we're almost at the destination. We're still having overheating problems, but it's about time we crank up these waves. So this is 56%. Uh, this is way larger than it was last time. I think it is at least. This is just 56%. Imagine it on full. Okay, so you guys are probably telling me, yeah, you gotta put it on full here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually a little bit scared. How about we throttle down? Okay, you guys ready? And we're going to be putting it on full rain. And then full waves, of course. We can't forget about that part. So we're gonna do 80%. 80%. How's eight? Oh my gosh, guys. We're in the North Sea right now. Oh, I should make a video on the North Sea. That'd be so cool. North Sea. Um, I've just heard a lightning strike, but these are 80% waves. We're gonna crank it to 100. You guys ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a small storm right now. Please get to the lifeboats. Okay, we're gonna put it on full throttle. See what happens in a storm on full throttle. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We are sinking in an aircraft carrier. No, we're not. Okay, let's try making it to the waypoint. It is so crazy out here. Should I go on deck? Um, oh, I don't think so. I really don't think, I don't even think I'm safe in here anymore. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh my God. Um, that's a little bit scary. That's a little bit scary. Okay. The entire bow section just went totally under. We're just completely piercing the water. Is that what aircraft carriers were made for? I don't know. I feel like the bow is like way heavier than the stern because when we get airtime, the bow goes down, not the stern. That's like kind of confusing because the engines are in the back, which is normally the heaviest part. So there's something classified in the front here that I think we should definitely know about. But let's go ahead and move on to the next natural disaster here. And I think we're going to be spawning in. Let's see. We're going to spawn in a whirlpool. So let's see if this aircraft carrier can survive a whirlpool. Everybody run full speed, full speed. Can we escape the whirlpool? This thing is going to get ginormous. It's going to get giant. Nope. Our engines aren't even in the water. Go, go power through. Come on. Oh, we're in the giant whirlpool, guys. This is bad. We are like 400 feet below the earth's surface right now or uh, ocean level. Oh my gosh. Go climb, 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 climb. The propellers are spinning, but they're not powerful enough. Oh, oh, don't flip it over. Oh, don't flip it. Don't flip it though. If this thing flips, we're going to have other issues. I'll have to drive all the way back out here. Like, please don't flip. We're so deep in this whirlpool. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. That's really not that good. That's really not that good. Okay. If it flips back over, um, I don't know what I'll say, but, uh, yeah, it'll, that'll be nice. Please flip back over. I'm not trying to drive all the way back out here. Oh my gosh. We've capsized a freaking aircraft carrier. I think I've left a door open too. Um, totally. I've left all the doors open too. Okay. That's lovely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yes. Cancel. Cancel the whirlpool. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please don't flip again. I'm trying to turn into the whirlpool so we don't flip. I'm turning it in. What are these waves? Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. And it's ending right now. It's kind of trying to lift us back up. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is pretty crazy, guys. Are we going to survive a whirlpool? Dude, that was the craziest whirlpool I think I've ever seen. Like that was the largest one. I feel like they do get larger though. So if we went even farther out, the waves would definitely get a little bit larger. But um, I don't really know. I mean, you know, modded waves used to be a thing. I'm not going to lie. Like Storm Trail used to do all these modded wave stuff. But that's so cool. But now you can't do modded waves. I mean, te technically Stormworks has it integrated in their game now. These are kind of modded waves because the farther out you go, the larger the waves are. But what's the next natural disaster we should try testing? Oh, don't flip. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our menu here. I'm going to put full throttle on. We got a couple options here. We got to do the tsunami one. We'll probably do that here in a bit. But let's go ahead and spawn in a tornado. Yeah, let's see how an aircraft carrier does against a tornado. I'm already seeing the sky starting to spin. That's so funny. But yeah, we're gonna see if this thing can survive. And hopefully the plane doesn't get ripped off its hinges because uh, the rope or the plane is only connected by literally rope. So um, let's just hope the tornado can. Oh, okay, it's behind us. We're trying to go in the tornado. So we're gonna be hitting a little bit of a U-turn here, turning to the port side. I got this thing cranked. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, we're fine. This thing's not gonna capsize. The only thing that, the, the only thing that can capsize this thing is a, uh, what's it called? Whirlpool, yeah. I'm trying to chase down the 
this tornado. That thing is already super far away, and I think it's running away, but we're going to try catching up to it by surfing on some of these waves here to it. The tornado is running away from the aircraft carrier. I just knew it was that scared. We've had a major lightning strike nearby. Um, Is that tornado really running away? Should we respawn it? Maybe we should. I don't know. Okay, I canceled it and spawned in another one, but um, it was like immediately. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, yep. Another one's definitely spawning. Can we shut it down here? Shut it down. Shut it down. Okay, get in here. Get in the seat. Get in the seat. Oh, uh, oh gosh. What, what the heck? How do we just do a U-turn like that? So we got the tornado disappearing over there. We should have another one. Oh, that one's way closer, guys. Run for your life. Okay, we got to drive into it, though. I mean, it's kind of close, but it's a little bit far. Turn, turn. Oh, gosh. Are we going to flip? Are we going to flip? Oh, no, no. Don't flip an aircraft carrier. No way an aircraft carrier would flip from these little waves like this. These waves are nothing. Okay, we got to chase down this tornado. It's still running away. That's just, this keeps getting farther away. Go. I think our engines are overheating again. This stupid thing needs better cooling, but the Stormworks cooling also kind of sucks. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Go chase it. We are like in the middle of a dune right now. Here we go. We're climbing up the other side. Why does it keep running away? Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to cancel it and then spawn it in right away. I like how they like made it so you can immediately respawn it, which is super cool. I have a feeling we're sinking. We're sitting a little bit lower in the water than normal, which I wouldn't be surprised, but a uh, second tornado should be spawning and it's not that one over there. It should be like either behind us or in front of us or oh, right there. Full speed. Oh, oh my gosh. We've almost just flipped. Okay. I think flipping is totally possible in these waves but we gotta get to this uh, tornado here. It is so hard. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. No, no, oh, we flipped. We flipped the aircraft carrier. There's no way we flipped in the North Sea. Actually, no, this isn't the North Sea, but there's no way, there's absolutely no way. Okay, that's fine, but um, now we need to think of a way to flip this back over, and I don't think of a better way than a whirlpool here, so let's find in a whirlpool. I don't know, these tornadoes in this game, guys, are a little bit funny. They're a little bit funky. They kind of try running away from you. Like, what kind of action is that? Oh, okay. We're going straight into the whirlpool. Hello? I'm still driving this thing because the propellers are still underwater. That's so funny. Okay, we're entering the whirlpool. Please flip us back over like you did last time. I'm sure you can do that. Do your magic. Please don't hit the bottom of the ocean. I think it's super deep over here, so we're definitely clear on that regard. Uh, We're going... Oh, oh my gosh. I think I see the bottom kind of. Dude, we are so deep right now. Okay, we're climbing back up. We're launching out of the whirlpool 500 feet in the air. We're going to be landing up right here. Compl no, we're not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got to be joking. There's no way. I see a lot of water water particles though flooding in i really hope that's not because of uh one of the doors i possibly left open um where are we at i think we went submarine mode oh yep here we go and then flip back over shut it down put the throttle to zero and landed yes dude these whirlpools really come in clutch sometimes let's hope we can end it here before it flips us over again oh my gosh you gotta be joking nope okay the whirlpool's ending but we gotta like flip over like really fast we got a couple seconds here we have literally a couple seconds to flip back over i don't know if it's gonna happen oh come on this stay with game you have got to be joking now i gotta deal with this crap here we go flip over full speed cancel the whirlpool i already have my ballistic calculator in my head telling me that we already oh oh no oh no oh no full speed oh go 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 yes wait did we just escape a whirlpool maybe not yet oh my freaking gosh you have got to be joking oh that's a cool looking wave but there's just this thing this thing's kind of annoying me i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit annoying um guys we're filled with water in here to like the brim oh never mind we're not anymore oh what's going on oh my gosh guys there's water oh we flipped okay finally um i don't know if this is gonna last that long though oh no we're gonna flip back over upside oh no there's water filling up guys this is so crazy in first person we probably should have been doing this the whole time okay get back in here go back in the pilot pilot seat here we go yes here we go here we go keep floating back up uh we're floating a little bit low i really hope we actually float a little bit higher than this um did we sink it already you know i guess that'd also be a perk because i mean that's kind of what we're trying to do though um let's see here i feel like something's a little bit off you guys feel like something's off i don't know i kind of feel like it too okay first of all let's turn waves to zero because i feel like we're having a situation here all right waves are at zero so we should see how we actually normally flow oh okay that's how it's going all right no problem oh it's actually not too bad this is like how we started yeah that's that's fine one concerning fact about this is that there's water just pouring out of the store right here okay we want to keep that in there for you know we'll just leave it open fine okay time to spawn in the tsunami so the moment you have been waiting for we're gonna turn the waves up to like 40 percent because we don't want them to be like too crazy uh, all right they're going the waves are going from that way so that means the tsunami is also going to come from that way you guys ready you guys think this thing can survive a tsunami the final boss 
basically. I don't know, guys. This aircraft carrier hasn't been doing too well. Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna engage full throttle. We're gonna hit this thing. Actually, you know what? Put it to zero. We gotta let these engines kind of cool down here because we're gonna put it on full throttle. Try climbing it. We're gonna see if we can climb it, of course. And we're gonna see if we can survive. So make sure you stay till after that. And we're gonna maybe spawn in some meteors and maybe that'll kind of sink this thing, but we're gonna see. Yeah, so meteors will be the final boss. The tsunami's just like, you know, the final boss. The meteors are final, final. Oh, I see that tsunami right there. Okay. Oh my gosh. The map looks so cool with this on. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? I see the tsunami. I think we can turn up waves just a tad bit because we got to see the depth of the tsunami a little bit more. Turn down the rain so we can have it be a little bit brighter out here. Okay, here we go. Now we're not in black and white anymore. Awesome. That tsunami is giant. It's definitely larger than the normal average Stormwork tsunami. So we're going to be hitting it head on with this aircraft carrier with the private jet and the helicopter both on the deck. Uh, they're pretty well strapped down, so it should be fine, especially the helicopter. The helicopter's not moving. The plane's a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to get over it before it crests. So let's not go on full throttle yet. We'll go to like 18. And then once we start rising, we got to go full throttle so we can actually, you know, make it up because we're not trying to flip backwards. Oh, here we go. Everybody brace for impact. Yeah, impact. We'll say impact. But we are about to encounter a small inconvenience here. So we're starting to rise. Full throttle has been engaged. Go, go, go. Climb, climb, climb. Yes, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, oh no. Oh, we went too fast. We went too fast. Oh no. We're going to be piercing the water. Let's hope it's like really deep over here. I'm sure it is, but here we go. Oh, piercing it straight down. And we've actually ended up capsizing. No, that's not good. And we're filled with water in here. There's a little bit of air pocket. Okay. We're in the air pocket right now, but the water's filling up. Oh gosh. Okay. We got to get to the side where there's air at. Uh, it's filling up really quick. Okay. This thing needs to flip back over because I feel like I'm going to see a shark or some crap. I don't know, guys. I think this tsunami in the whirlpool would actually end up sinking this thing because if we stayed upside down, we would sink. But for the grand finale here, I think it's time to be spawning in some of these meteors. Okay. So let's just go down. Let's make sure we got everything. So Kraken, Megalodon, not really. Uh, volcano eruption. I don't think that's needed. All right. We're going to spawn one meteor and see if this thing can survive. Oh, gosh. This tsunami is like almost gone. Uh, where's the meteor? Oh, gosh. Okay. The meteors are like a mile in width and length. No, I'm kidding. They're probably around like five meters. They're not that big. Yeah, it's nothing to be worried about, guys. It's really... Oh, oh here we go. Okay, they're coming from that direction. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. I did not expect that. That's a big one. Oh, that's not good. We've been hit by a meteor. Not directly, though, so we're still fine. Um, Vehicle damage is on. We're going to spawn in two more meteors since we easily survived that. That was light work, guys. We easily... That was nothing, really. Like, come on. That was nothing. You gotta be joking. That was way too easy, but we got some more coming in, so don't worry about it. Everybody brace for impact. We have a small inconvenience on our way. Oh my gosh, that's a big one right there. Look how pretty it... Oh! Oh my gosh. Nothing left. Okay, I'm swimming. That's normally not a good sign. Um, oh my gosh. What's going on with the water over here? It's all looking crazy. Where did the aircraft carry... <laughs> There's no way the freaking meteor destroyed the aircraft carrier. I think it did. I'm not even seeing it float anywhere. Like, there's no boats out here for miles. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We did end up destroying it. So I was expecting it to sink, but surprisingly, it really didn't. But if you guys enjoyed this type of content, be sure to go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. Check out that NordVPN down in the description for the ultimate online security. Follow the TikTok. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.